brewery guy coming at you. We are down here in New Orleans on Chapa Tool Street. I'm with the Bachelor's brother, Kev. I don't know where the Bachelor is getting some food. Right here at Urban South Brewery. Check out this place. It's amazing, amazing atmosphere. Music is blasting 11 a.m. Sunday morning. It's beautiful colors. We have arcade games, a quesadilla food truck outside. I am ready to be here, Kevin said, all day. We got a key lime ghost on tap and a beautiful bunch of IPs. I can't One, wait. One, two, three, uh. My baby don't mess around because she loves me so and this I know for sure. Your anniversary yeah brewery guy coming at you with my buddy jason here giving us a tour he's drinking a beautiful blackberry tart from urban south brewery they are two years as of yesterday 90 barrels another 60 uh 50 bar or 15 barrel uh maybe seven, bar or seven barrels behind that as well uh we got the seven barrel fermentation or uh whirlpool and uh mash tanks uh they're actually going to add another three 90 barrel fermentation tanks to it as well trying to keep up all of our beer um, we sell out before we can basically brew more beer. That's a great problem to have. I have a beautiful flight here. Look at these gorgeous colors. We got ghosts, we got tar beers, we got hoppy beers. I'm going to start off with this Vienna Lager called Delta Mama coming in at 5.5%. Cheers, Kev. Thick. Look at that. You can't see a lick through that. Real nice sweet aroma. Full body for 5.5%. You get that residual sweetness that you get in a Vienna Lager, but the citra hops are coming in just to say hello. Right now we're gonna go with this gorgeous, juicy, berry colored blackberry tart. It's a sour farmhouse Al. They're cooped up in their pilot series and they added copious amounts of blackberries coming in at 5%. The color of that juice. Beautiful, bright, tart berry notes in the nose. And that opens up. At first, I get a little bit of that tart, almost mustard flavor, and then that tartness just sticks on the palate, almost lactoey, even though there's none in it. And those berries just keep going and going and going. Don't try to fight the feeling, cause the thought alone is killing me right now. Basically, we, we started off with two staple beers so our Holy Roller and our Charming Wit. Uh, with that being said, uh, Charming Wit is something in really light for anybody to enjoy it. Similar to Blue Moon, really easy drinking beer. Uh, Holy Roller, they wanted to do a really proper IPA. Uh, they originally started out as a West Coast IPA, very clear, hop forward, super bitter. Uh, and then they, when the New England style kind of came onto the scene, and so rained as easy IPA, king right now. We changed our entire recipe, and it's actually changed probably about two or three times now. Uh, they finally got into the, exactly what they want. Yeah, it's what the people want, man. Uh, everybody wants the hazy IPA. And our favorite beer of the weekend has been their Holy Roller New England IPA. Coming in at 6.3% with two of my favorite hops, Citra and Mosaic. Man, did the South really almost and right about perfect in New England IPA. I mean, hazy, super, super, just you can't see through that thing. Look at that orange juiciness, white head. The dankness hits the nose right away. And then you get mosaic herbs. You get beautiful lemony, citrus, sweet notes. They have just done an amazing job on this style of beer. Right now I'm trying their IPA called the Holy Roller. We've been drinking it all weekend and it's amazing. But this is the grapefruit version coming in at 6.3% with two of my favorite hops, Citra and Mosaic. Of course, thick and juicy. Dang, orange juice in the nose, definitely grapefruit. Oh my God. There must be killing it with the grapefruit in there. That grapefruit just keeps rounding out. The citrus is there, the mosaic is there, but the grapefruit really hits it hard. I am loving Holy Roller all weekend, and this is such a pleasure to try this. This is one of the ones I'm most excited to try. It's a Gosa, lime cucumber Gosa. Unfiltered wheat beer, kettle sour, coming in at 4%. They had kosher salt, key lime juice, the thirst quencher, and locally grown cukes. 
Cheers, Kev. Look at that thick, dark pour, like straight, unfiltered grapefruit nectar. Oh, all kinds of sweet lime coming up in the nose right away. Oh my gosh. The thick body hits, the cukes hit. Sweetness of the cukes right away. Tartness of the lime on the back end, just balancing this whole thing out. This is a beautiful beer. About to drink this Rattler and this beautiful, eclectic variety of beers. The Rattlers, their Delta Mama Vienna Lager. Throw in some lemonade, and then boom, Grapefruit Holy Roller IPA. Thick, and you cannot see through, completely opaque, no head. Oh my goodness, lemonade, and hops, and sweetness, and tartness. I mean, this place has just been amazing. Everything here is amazing, and nobody cares. Homage to Louis C.K. Brewery Guy Daycare coming at you from Urban South Brewery. Talk about super fun, friendly Sunday. This place has fathers drinking ceaselessly while their children are smiling, happy, and ocupado. What an amazing time. What an amazing place to bring your children and enjoy a few beers while they have a great time. And they have these birthday parties every weekend. Urban South Brewing Company with your kids. Get some. Brewery Guy loves ya and he loves exploring new breweries. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel and love me back and it's so...